I'm Juan Wilson and I'm the coordinator of diversity and awareness for the Fort Zumwalt School District. The infamous question for the diversity program has been, what does it look like? So there's only one true way for me to show you what it actually looks like. And that's by sharing our story the only way we know how, through video. Dance is just one way that we share our different cultures and express ourselves. So the diversity program created a dance production that allowed students from all high schools and middle schools in the district to do just that. What we gained from that experience were stories that gave us even more perspective of where we all come from. Anything you want to tell anybody out there that may feel like their disability can keep them from dancing, what do you want to tell them? It doesn't matter if you have a disability or not, you can do anything you can, anything can happen. The diversity program partnered with different clubs around the district to help share their stories of how they celebrate various cultures within their schools. At Fort Zumwalt North Middle, several of their students and staff call 13 different countries their birthplace. The entire school spent a day learning about these different cultures through watching performances, spending time with several presenters, and being able to attend a pretty entertaining fashion show. Today was fun because I learned about all the different cultures and what other countries did that we didn't have and how their schools were. I liked how we just got to meet all the people from different countries and learn about their cultures and it was just fun to have learn about hip hop and stuff. I liked how we got to learn how different people dress based on their cultures. So I like to talk to people from different countries and see how different their perspective was on like school and yeah. Over the summer we hosted our first diversity camp where students were able to come in and have conversations and share their experiences but also strengthen their communication skills that they'll need to help them build bridges with a diverse group of people that they call teammates and classmates. In our society today, most people are really one-sided and they don't, people have trouble with seeing like the other side. So just like seeing other people and looking at other people's stories and seeing how people sometimes have the same struggles as you, but you don't necessarily recognize it at that point. But I feel like this really helped. Honestly, it was one of the best experiences I've ever had. I learned a lot that I didn't know and I got to meet some amazing people that I've, I can see as being really good mentors in the future. I thought the camp was a really great opportunity and it was really eye-opening. Meeting the people and hearing their stories was a really good opportunity for me, opening my eyes to the diversity and just the differences that they have between me and them. It was a really great experience. I was glad I got to be a part of it. Mainly that everyone has their own story to tell and that not everybody is going to feel the same way about certain things and there is a common ground that everybody could reach. We've worked with some of our schools outside of the classroom and into the community to help better connect our educators with the students whose lives they're shaping. Knowing that it takes all of us to create an accepting and inclusive school culture, we've also had the opportunity to share a few stories of hope and community. Providing professional development that focused on diversity and awareness was a huge priority for us. We wanted everyone to be able to have those difficult conversations about our differences and biases. We were able to provide two separate sessions to faculty and staff, with several more on the way. To hear the conversations going on in those sessions and everyone's willingness to have those difficult conversations with Grace, truly what the diversity program is all about. We've been able to create two platforms for people to connect with us on, and that's the FCIM Twitter page and the FCIM YouTube channel. We've also shared some of our diversity programs videos on the Fort Zumwalt School District Facebook page, which have reached over 600,000 people. When someone sees someone that needs help, obviously the thing to do is help them. Whether they're a friend or a stranger or someone you love, that's just human nature. But that's not how things are anymore. 
It could be because they're going through it themselves, so they don't want to get involved. Or they feel like they can't help you, so they don't even try. <laughs> they feel my kid joke. <laughs> Like, I think that this group, like, also, like, brought us together in a way where, like, we make, we think of, like, both sides of the situation, you know? Like, yes. we think of the, we think of the side that we think is right, and then we think of the side that we think is wrong. And it's just, like, we get to see both sides, and it's, like, really helpful. So, and I think it's crazy how far we've came. Yes. yes. We've yeah. so, yeah. so much. We used yes. to be getting in trouble, like, this a lot. changed. Yes. Like, like, I am changed. so happy that I don't get in Me trouble. Too. It's just better. Yeah, yeah I feel like just, it changed us for the better. Like, we're getting we're meeting really more relationships that we never thought we would have with other yeah. people. Yeah. I also want to add, don't only have love for your own race. Have love for everybody's so yes. yes. If you only have love for your own race, then you're not it's not going to generate feel, hate. Yeah. Got that it's not really going to And I feel like you become less accepting to other races, too. I mean, you already know everything about yourself. Why not learn everything about other people? Yeah, yeah. Just have love. That's, yes. that's yeah, love. Story.